Hey y'all, so I know last time I checked in with you guys, I was just like depresso mode editing in my <laughs> In my room like 1 a.m. But now this is the more like glamorous part about doing fashion podcasting. I'm in the Hotline showroom with Christy, Hello. the founder of Hotline. Hello. We're going to dive into this emerging designer luxury rental business that she started. We're gonna do a podcast episode, so watch out for that. Shout out to this studio. The lighting is incredible. Oh, it is really nice. I honestly part of how I justified it. Um, was like obviously you know it's a showroom space like we can invite girlies into our area. Also like it's kind of a content studio. <gasps> Lisa's butt was in this. No, not Lisa. Okay. How many of these are her. there? There's one. This is the one. Like, so this she's not making any more of this design. Kristen Mallison hand embroidered this cat. Six weeks of pre-order for it to get here. And there's no more that oh. will be coming our way. Wow. Yes. That's crazy that this is hand embroidered. embroidered. I and I think like if you actually see it in person, you realize like, oh my gosh, that is, that is, uh, that is wearable art. How much is it to rent for a day? It's for four days. Oh, okay. We do four days. 50 for four days yes which is like wait insane. that's actually the so weekend. good yeah yeah it's like for four we we do four days eight days 16 days and 30 days i'm gagged i would plug that our showroom that we are sitting in right now will be officially opening in january so if you're in new york it'll be open and the appointments are available on our website yeah some of these pieces you couldn't even try on somewhere else even if you wanted to like that kristen malliston skirt if you want to give it a shot like this is the only place where you can do this it this is the one place. This is okay we just finished wrapping up our vlog i'm planning on doing a photo shoot at like that self-portrait lab called photo lab and i wanted to rent some really sick pieces from hotline because i'm updating my brand images for my podcast Right now it's just a screen grab and it looks super ratchet and I know I can do so much better. So <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity to try some of my like dream pieces. The main goal the yeah. Point. yeah. Have you heard of the stanza? This is the one of one skirt in question. So these are reusable mailers that um, are waterproof and are supposed to be usable over 20 times. So, and honestly, like if you feel this in person, you can feel like you yeah. definitely will last over 20 times. It's like it, the type of industrial um, nylon situation, sure, yeah. So, I didn't even know these kinds of reusable mailers existed. They're very new, honestly, because I feel like not that many econ things require like, returns, yeah. Things, so it's, it doesn't make sense for a lot of people, yeah. but for us it does. So but that's the, Period. That's the Sustainable theory. queen. Are we surprised? Queen. We're not surprised, yeah. but I'm still impressed. <laughs> so hey y'all. I was supposed to edit my podcast with Christy yesterday. That was my plan. Didn't get around to it. It's just kind of tough to like film it, edit it film and edit in the same day. Somehow, some way, I always make it work week to week, but it's never like a consistent schedule. Right now I'm like hyping myself up to edit. You know when you're like procrastinating just a little bit cause you know you got a lot of work ahead of you. And you know, I work a desk job. I'm always like in front of a computer. computer so sometimes it's hard for me to like convince myself to like sit down and be in front of my computer even more. I attempted, I attempted to make some Niswa salad, but it's okay, and I'm watching some Lena lifts. So that's what today's video is going to be all about. We are doing a full day of girl therapy. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a full day dedicated to taking care of you. You guys, this is how I know I was never meant to be a homemaker or a housewife because that Niswa salad, it was not Niswaing, okay? And also, every time I eat a Niswa salad, I can't help but think of that one scene in White Chicks. Your mother is so stupid that she goes to Barney's Rooftop Deck restaurant for lunch and orders a Niswa salad and calls it a Nikoi salad. Taking a little break so I can hang out with Stella and not be a neglectful cat mommy. Princess. I'm really excited for this podcast episode with Christy. Like, 
I feel so blessed and so grateful that I've gotten to meet so many cool people that are doing really inspiring things in fashion and in particular fashion sustainability like I feel like I've always kind of known that that was something I cared a lot about that was more of an outsized interest in comparison to everything else in my life but only until this year have I had the ability to actually really speak about it um, kind of like took charge of making that interest like a fundamental focus in my life which is why I'm here on a Saturday night editing this podcast <laughs> Wanna take a little break, Steli? Y'all, this yogurt Best yogurt brand ever My boyfriend and I are both obsessed with this It's the brown cow cream top So rich and creamy It's like a little dessert cup almost She's like, what is this big ass camera doing in my face? There's Star Steli. She has a penis on her back here. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Good morning. I'm really on my content grind, you know? Um, I'm getting my photo shoot for my podcast done today, which is so exciting. Life is very interesting. I've been very prolific in many ways. Like, I started DJing, which is what you're listening to right now. I'm making this vlog. I also have a fa fashion podcast, a fashion TikTok. I'm trying to grow my Instagram. I don't know, I'm just really on my content grind. Totally hand embroidered. Small detail, but I just noticed how the artist had done the clothing tag little detail but I love that I like this with this but I feel like the print with the croissant is distracting too much if it's just the croissant and the embroidery I feel like graphics are competing with each other so let's scrap okay I just paired it with a plain crop top this is definitely better but I think we can do still better hi YouTube <laughs> I am running so hard. I need to get my ass out of this skirt. I need to. I need to hurry it the fuck up. Sorry, did you say something? Yeah, that's Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 